What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Recently I've been talking about how I got my job, some juicy stories about work. So today I'm going to be talking about how my current situation with work is and what's going on and what am I going to do. So let's just get right into it. So to start things off, as I have already mentioned, I work at Canadian Tire. I have been here for five years. When the new boss came, he came back in March 2017, I believe. And honestly, right after I started getting my hours cut a little bit, but not too much to worry about. Before they came, I was 44 hours a week. And after they came, I was about 35 to 40 hours a week. What they have started doing for the past six months has started back in about, I would say, November and for anybody that works retail, you might know November and December going into the Christmas, that is the busiest time of year for retail. In about November, that's whenever I really noticed it because I was only getting about 25 hours a week if I was lucky. Sometimes I'd get the occasional 30 hours a week, but that was very rare. Usually that only happens in January when work starts to slow down for us because that's usually our dead time is from January to March. So a lot of people get laid off around that time and get their hours cut. So I would have been okay if it happened around then. I would have understood it. But I just didn't understand why it happens in November when it did. Coming into January, February, they went down to about 20 hours a week. And they stuck at that. I'm, I'm lucky to get 20 hours a week. March 2018, I talked to the boss and I said, look, Am I going to be getting full-time hours? Am I going to be getting my full-time back soon? About 35 hours to 40 hours a week. Am I going to be getting that soon? Because if not, I'm going to be looking for another job. I cannot financially live off of what you're giving me right now. I still have to pay rent. I buy my own food. I have a lot of expenses that I didn't notice I had until, our, uh, until my hours started getting cut. Um, and he assured me that I'd get my full-time hours back soon. Now what happens with Canadian Tire, we're on winter hours, so the store closes earlier, earlier on certain days. So um, he assured me that when the hours extended and when the weather warmed up, I would get my full-time hours back, and I was okay with that. So now, just a reminder, here in Canada, January 1st, minimum wage went up to 14 an hour. So you would assume, even though my hours were cut, I'm still making what I was, and I wasn't because they were cut so much, I was making less than I once was. And that was what was really stressing me out the most. But since he assured me I was gonna get my full-time hours again soon, I didn't bother to make a big deal about it. I was like, okay, I'll just enjoy the less hours. I'll enjoy a little bit of less of the stress in a way. He never gave me more hours, basically. Um, what happened was uh, the end of March, because I talked to him early March, the end of March, my, the story hours extended back to what they were and I was like okay hopefully soon I'll get my hours back the weather was a lot nicer and I should have got my full time then and I still didn't so I started to stress out because I'm financially stressed right now I don't know I didn't know what the hell to do and I was just I was I could just tell I was getting stressed out more and more and more and until finally I recently it's now uh, May and I asked him again, I went to him and I said, look, am I getting my full-time hours soon? If not, I am going to be looking, because I have a couple courses planned out, I'm going to be looking into doing them, so I'm not going to be here much longer if I'm not going to be getting my hours. And he said, you know what, honestly, he doesn't know if I'm going to be getting my full-time hours now, because he says... It's not busy in the store to be given me and to justify giving me full-time hours, which to me doesn't make any sense because now it's March, we're getting into summer, it's getting really hot out, and the store is crazy. Every time I'm there, even though I'm getting shorter shifts, I'm literally running my ass off because he understaffs all the departments, especially automotive. I'm running around, it's, there's a ton of customers, a lot of them have to wait because there's not too many staff to help deal with them. And it's stressing all the employees out. So when he said it's not busy, when it gets busier, I'll get my hours. I knew right then he just doesn't want to give me my full-time hours anymore. But if it's busy, get your staff in. That's why you have staff, in my opinion. So 
This was recently that he said about it being busy and that he wasn't sure I'm going to get my full-time hours. So at that point, honestly, I knew I'm on my way out. I do not want to work there anymore. I have hated my job for a while. I stuck it through because I was getting full-time hours and I loved getting full-time hours. And I didn't really want to change. But now I've been there five years this summer and it's time for a change. Honestly, I've been stressed out. That's what caused me to be sick, I believe. Um, I have all these bills I cannot pay. I have my G2 now. I expected to get my own vehicle by now. I really wanted a 2018, honestly, because I could afford it. But now, because I'm not making the hours I once was, I can't afford it. So now it's the question of what am I going to do? I do plan on leaving my job really soon, I hope. I honestly can't wait till I'm out of there. And I don't believe I'm going to be giving a two weeks notice. A lot of people might not agree with not giving a two weeks notice, but look at it like this. They're not showing me the respect uh, by giving me hours or treating me good because they don't even treat me well when I'm there. Um, so I don't want to give them the respect of giving them a two weeks notice because they can find a replacement. But truth is, they probably won't. They'll just have the staff that they already have there. And it's going to be stressing them out a little bit more because there's less help. But the boss doesn't want to pay me. So why is he going to replace me and pay somebody else? He likely won't so that is pretty much that what else am I gonna do is I'm looking into security guard courses right now I do plan on doing that going through for that I have been sick for the past two weeks so I haven't been able to email the guy today's the only day I've been able to have energy so I want to get a bunch of videos recorded I'm gonna email him in a little bit because um, I want to get it going I wanted to get it started because if I do plan on walking out of work soon if it becomes too much and I'm getting pissed off because they're even treating me bad because I'm sick and pretty much blaming me. I'm sorry. I'm sick. Doctor doesn't know what it is. Um, and I'm honestly right now I'm waiting for results. So I just I can't go to work right now. And they're making me feel like shit about it and trying to blame me. Sucks to be them. I do wish to leave soon and I hope I get my security guard courses started. I hope I get my own vehicle soon so I can find work as a security guard because it's pretty good money. It's pretty good job. It's pretty steady hours at times and I do get overtime pay and I'm going to be getting full time. So I honestly can't wait to do that. I can't wait to stop having stress because I have stress right now in life. It's unbelievable. And because I've been sick for the past two weeks, I'm starting to get a little bit depressed if that makes any sense. Just because I've been sitting around and not feeling well, I'm starting to feel good now. I'm still waiting for results to see what it is or what it was, but that is my predicament right now with work. That's what's going on, and this is what I'm going to be doing. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm going to be trying to make you guys more videos soon. Hope you guys liked me telling juicy stories about where I worked. Um, moving forward, I hope to share more stuff with you about certain situations in my life. Hope you guys did like this video. If you do, please leave a thumbs up because it helps me out. And I'll see you guys soon. Maybe I'll give you an update on how my security, guards, my security guard courses are coming along soon. If that's what you guys are interested in, let me know in the comments. But I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.